Hi, my name is David Irvin, Territory Service Manager for Manitowoc Ice Machines with a quick video on how to remove the water pump from the Indigo uh, Legacy Indigo platform, the Indigo Next, as well as the S model machines. So if you do have a faulty water pump, obviously you got to get to it. Before we start digging into the machine, always, always, always disconnect power from the machine so no accidents can happen. So I'm going to disconnect power from the machine. All right, now I'm going to remove the water curtain. Just take your hands in the center, kind of pop those together, squeeze it together a little bit. It'll pop right out. Next, we got to remove the water trough. So in order to remove the water trough, the easiest way to do this, cross your arms, use your thumbs to pull the tabs in. It'll pop right out, okay? Next step, we're going to remove the water pump. We're simply going to pull it straight down. It's kind of hard to see with me in the way, but there's a little connector there. That's your voltage connector for the uh, for the water pump. You've got your water pump here. A couple of things before you replace the water pump. Maybe the pump's not pumping or something. Uh, you want to kind of inspect here. Uh, there's a screen that goes onto the bottom of this. Make sure the screen is not plugged. If the screen is not plugged, this bottom piece along the pump itself is removable. There's a little tab right there um, on the uh, front of the pump. You just simply take a flathead. You kind of have to work your way around a little bit, both sides. A little bit each on uh, a little bit on each side. Kind of navigate your way around the pump. You'll get it to a point to where there's a little clip on the front. You got to release it. Once you do that, you'll have access to the impeller. Good opportunity. Make sure there's no trash in here where the discharge of the pump is. Uh, make sure that there's no trash in here that could, could slow your water flow down. Uh, if it's a bad pump, you know what? If it's warranty, of course, you want to return it to your distributor. If it's out of warranty, you can just toss it away. Okay. Now, put this back in place. Make sure all this is snapped in place. Okay. Sometimes it's easy to just kind of push down on it, make sure everything is in place like it should be, give it a couple of good squeezes. If you did remove the screen, I go ahead and uh, reinstall the screen back in place, okay? Now, if you've got a new pump, all this is already done. Simply reverse your steps, reconnect voltage to the pump, slide the pump up in place, and give it a push until you feel it snap in place. Reverse to your other steps, put the water trough back in. Reinstall your water curtain. Reconnect power. It's going to check for an update. Turn the machine on. Fortunately, one of the first things that comes on is the water pump. I hear the water pump running. Success. We're done. Hope you enjoy this video.